Uh, live from Orlando, it's spring break week on WIBX. And uh, the first news keeler in the morning radio program uh, comes to you live from Orlando uh, here this morning. Uh, coming up, we're going to get an update to a story we had yesterday, and that is the woman that claims that she has had the death threat and was told that it was not a, uh, that it didn't fall under any criminal activity. And uh, she deals with the uh, LGBT community. And uh, she was on yesterday and said that she'd reported it several times and didn't end up getting anywhere. Lieutenant Coromato is with the Utica Police Department and uh, is on the line with us right now. Lieutenant, good morning. Thanks for good coming morning. on the radio. Good morning. How are you? Good. So what, uh, what came of this and what do we know? She claims that, uh, that UPD did not, um, uh, did not consider this a crime. She later went to the FBI and they said it was. What happened in this case? Um, well, she came to our police department and um, spoke with our desk officer um, who looked at the case and uh, read our aggravated harassment laws, and uh, he misinterpreted um, what the law applied to in this case. Um, okay. He did, what he did do is he did document the incident, did document the incident and, um, you know, recorded it and kind of sent her on her way after that. Um once it was brought to our attention that this law was misinterpreted, um, obviously we made contact with Mr. Tonroy and um, took the appropriate actions at that time. Uh, was, you know, the, the officer was a newer officer, and you know, it was a simple misunderstanding of the way the law was written. Okay. And um, you know, you, with, with, uh, is yeah. Uh, but well, I'm I'm wondering, is there? Uh, have you gotten anywhere on this case? Do you, she said she kind of had an idea who she thought it might be. Uh, do you have a name, maybe a suspect that you guys are looking at? Well, she provided. By the way, they the, left a, a very, a very, very bad uh, death threat letter, um, and it was based on religious uh, beliefs that uh, anti-homosexual, anti-LGBT. Um, and uh, and said if she continues the behavior, and by the way, she works with young people, she works with businesses and schools, uh, on the understanding of especially transgender and homosexuality so that companies know how to deal with it and businesses and, and, and educational institutions. But uh, she, they threatened to kill her if she continued to do the work. So do you have somebody out there? Um, she has provided us with some information that uh, with a couple of, possible leads in this case. Um, obviously, the, evidence, the, the uh, note was uh, secured as evidence, and that's being sent out for further examination. Um, and right now, the investigation is ongoing, and there has been a couple names that we are looking at. Okay. And she said that they, when, they, when they put the... Uh, they, they attached the note to her door, uh, it was attached using uh, the stickiness of a chewed piece of gum. And uh, I guess she said she turned that in as well. That could be considered maybe evidence down the road if you catch the person. I mean, I don't know. I know we, we watch these things on TV. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, that um, that substance was collected and uh, will be forwarded out to the to the crime lab for analysis. That you know ultimately maybe help us uh, you know find out who actually did this if if uh, our leads right. don't pan out. So that's definitely a key piece right. of evidence. Have you had problems right. in the city in the past, Lieutenant Coromato, with, with threats of this nature? Um, to, to my knowledge, um, I haven't uh, personally dealt with any and or really remember any uh, of this nature. Um, we have, we've had, you know, people make threats in the past, you know, um, but not related to this circumstance. All right. Okay. All right, anybody else? Any questions, Christine? No. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Lieutenant Coromato, you had recently put out a request, or the UPD had recently put out a request, because you are looking for more, you're actively seeking more diverse officers. Is this something that you would consider, you know, seeking someone who has familiarity with the LGBT, and as she was saying yesterday, LGBTQ community? Um, always. We're always looking for diversity in the police department. Um, we're trying to always get better at that. Uh, we do have officers that are familiar with that situation, um, that have had training and uh, things like that. But we're always open to, um, obviously, become more diverse. And you don't feel that this 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 new officer, um, the fact that he decided not to pursue this, 
had anything to do with the fact that this is this involves um, uh, transgender or homosexuality or anything like that? You don't believe that's the case? A- absolutely not. It was uh, a simple. He, he read the law and misinterpreted it, which obviously, being a new officer, can occur. Um, and uh, our aggravated harassment laws are somewhat, uh, you know, they, they can be confusing at times. So, um, you know, we're just hoping that in, in, in the future that, you know, just to put out there, if anybody has an issue with some sort of response they get from us, they always, you know, remember to ask for a supervisor. Got it. Okay. To get a, um, just to, right, to get a deal. second opinion, which never hurts. Yep. All right, thank uh, you. Lieutenant Coromato, UPD, uh, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Take care. All right. Have a great day. Christine, with an update right now. Coming up, your chance to win Comets tickets for tonight's playoff game. They want you to arrive early. Doors open at 530. Get there. Wear white. Come early. It is do or die for the Comets tonight. And we have a pair of tickets, front row seats to give away for tonight's game. Here's Christine with an update.